Time to continue our Wandering Wisconsin series now with a closer look in the 608. So Josh Breider is in New Glarus this morning, showcasing a lot of their popular spots. He's been showing us all sorts of good things. Josh, where are you at now? Yeah, Chris, we've been all over the place. Good morning to you and good morning to you, all of you at home. Of course, New Glarus, one of our favorite spots. Now we're at the Rusty Raven. It's a store that's been around for a few years now, but it's under new ownership this morning. And John Hoffland is with us this morning. And you took over this uh, last month. You've been in the area for a few years. You worked across the street. What brought you to the Rusty Raven? The idea of doing my own business, running my own show. And, uh, you know, uh, I was running the best shop in town. Rusty Raven was the second best shop in town. I decided that it needed to, t to, to replace the, the best shop in town, become the best shop in town. So. Yeah, so this is a really unique store. Talk a little bit about what you have here at the Rusty Raven. Uh, so the Rusty Raven, it's, you know, what is the Rusty Raven is a question we get a lot. And to be honest with you, it's, it's a tough question to answer because we're a little bit about the old, we're a little bit about the new, uh, the eclectic, the unusual, the different. Um, we're a small business that supports small businesses, and we can. We're we're we're, we're a local who supports locals. Um, we're a shop where everyone is welcome to walk in, and our beer is always cold. And you know, ultimately, the criteria to for anything to be to come into the Rusty Raven is everything has to meet a certain level and if it can't get past level one which everything you see in the store is something that i would personally be willing to put in my own house or give to you as a gift and if, if it's something that doesn't meet that criteria it doesn't come into my store you know this is a unique space you obviously have all this uh, stuff in here but you also have the tap room on the back as we walk back here so this is pretty special to new glarus and you know you live here you work here why did you choose new glarus and why should people come check you out you know, we've been coming to New Glarus off and on for about 15 years um, because they, they do a great job during the festival season. And uh, one of their festivals used to pr have a musician who was featured in the middle of the park and the musician happened to be a good friend of ours. So New Glarus has just been a place that we've always come to. And, you know, we fell in love with New Glarus years ago. When it came time to build a house, you know, New Glarus was always kind of tops of the wish list. Nobody ever expects to get where they really want to go, but we stumbled on 10 acres outside of town, and we were pretty pumped because New Glarus was the place that we were going to land. And I mean, this is just a cool, special little town. And, uh, you know, I've always been a city kid, and so it, it, it did honestly take a good six months to really get used to it because, you know, I was just always like, you know, I was watching my back. I was wondering why everybody was so nice, and you know, it's 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 the legit small town feel, and it's it sometimes it almost feels like you're living in the movies. You know, after such a tough year in 2020, it sounds like more and more people are starting to come out again. You know, that community support for you as a business owner, how crucial is it during this time? I mean, it's huge, and you know, but but I think you know, if the pandemic brought us anything, it brought us the awareness of what life would look like if small businesses don't exist, and you know, we all got a glimpse of what it's going to be like if. Target, Walmart, and Amazon are our only options, and nobody wants that. So, you know, I have a, I've, I've felt a sense in, in the previous business I ran that there is a very concerted effort to get out and support the local communities, support the small businesses, and, you know, people want to make sure that we make it to the next level. Yeah, you bet. Well, John, thank you so much for having us in, and good luck with everything. You have an incredible shop here. Thank you, sir. And Chris, I did learn that we have another fellow Vikings fan in house this morning. Oh, he no. is also from Minnesota, so I'm not I'm not alone. Skull. <laughs> I don't know about that. Oh, go Vikings. Don't, don't hold it against me. <laughs> well, we'll try not to. He does look like he has a really cool shop, though. Josh, it's really cool to hear stories like John's. People who came to the area to visit, they, you know, came through every once in a while, but they just fell in love with it after spending a little bit of time there and they were like drawn to it. There's some sort of magnetism to the city of New Glarus, isn't there? It's so cool, Chris. You know, you come to the city. I've been here a few times since I moved to Wisconsin a few years ago. But every time you come, you learn something new. And, I mean, we've been in four different spots this morning. And I already want to come back and check out some of the others. Obviously, you've got New Glarus Brewing here. They're set to open up later this year again after being closed due to COVID. So there's a lot to do here. And they actually have their next festival a week from today here in New Glarus. They're going to be out here in front on the street. So you should come check them out. Now's the time. Now we need to get out and support the locals. All right. Josh Breider live in New Glarus this morning. Thanks for showing us around. Make sure to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. Reach out on social media or email him in the 608 at WICTV.com. A lot of your ideas end up getting featured on News 3 Now This Morning.